hello guys Hi. and welcome back to my channel so today we decided to bring you guys what it's like being a christian at university um so yeah the first thing is that when you tell people you're a christian they already <laughs> assume that you are this perfect person who cannot have fun and you you know you're all about, oh god 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 every two four seven like you know obviously that's how it's like but it's not we are still human beings and we can have fun and we can do no more stuff but there's a limit yeah one of the most one of the um immediate interpretations people have of christians is that mm. like you said you can't have fun but it all depends on who you are you can be a non-believer and you can be boring you can't be, you can not be a fun <laughs> person as well yeah. you can be a believer you can be fun it's just all about you your personality what you like to do who you surround yourself with yeah and speaking of that, it's, it all comes down to like the friends you make. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're a Christian, you come to uni, I would suggest like you surround yourself with people who have the same beliefs as you. Same. Like, when you come uni, your belief and your faith can go in two directions. It can either grow or it can dwindle. Yeah, and you can just go wild. So, we have crazy friends and we can party. Mm -hmm. Like, we are, it's not even like party in the club. We can literally be in our rooms and we'll be Enjoy having yourself. fun more than people who are like drinking like do you get what i mean so it's all about surrounding yourself with the right people and having fun mm -hmm. and yeah yeah like tracy was saying about um surrounding yourself with the right people i think coming to university as a christian as well it's important to kind of like have a preparation stage or mm -hmm. even if you didn't do it before uni rush in uni can still have that stage but like, for me, my preparation was, um, I had prayer points before I came to uni, so some of them consisted of like, um, my friendship groups, um, just life in general, like independent living, um, money, whatever. So I prayed about that before I came to uni, and so when I came to uni, I saw like how God actually answered my prayers and how it all unfolded because he surrounded me with good friends, he surrounded yeah. me with people societies I was able to join and yeah so preparation is key be open-minded as well if you come to uni and you're close-minded I'm sorry but you're not gonna it's not gonna go well for you so like there are so many people that you're gonna meet at uni who have different beliefs and understanding and different morals to you so yeah uh, and also like as you said before having when you come to uni I think it's good to have time with God as well and you know have one-to-one -one conversations and you know pray and remember who you are mm. like it just helps you stay grounded yeah. because if you're not careful you'll be influenced by people who are different to you and you find yourself yeah. not at the right place so stay grounded know who you are don't be influenced and yeah yeah practically like what you're saying um practically um staying grounded having one-on-one -on -one times is you can do that little small stuff to substitute things so if you're a person who naturally just wakes up and goes Ooh, let me check my instagram and check my messages, <laughs> then like try to be like okay waking up i'm not gonna touch my phone today mm -hmm. let me spend time praying with god let me do a devotion or something like that and i think that with consistency is key because i feel like mm -hmm, even me i need to be more consistent with that and i feel like that's a good way to What's the word? Maintain um, yeah. your relationship. Yeah. yeah. Like, at the end of the day, your identity with God is, like, one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. And, like, if I had any advice to give to freshers or university students, I'll be, like, knowing your identity with God and building a relationship with Him. Because university, you have this independent life, you know, there are no rules, there are no... For real. Yeah, there's nothing for you to follow. So, if you don't know yourself and what you want in life and who you are and being strong and not forgetting about your faith mm. you will definitely go higher yeah. like and i think university is the most dangerous place to lose your identity in god because mm -hmm. once your identity isn't in god then you'll naturally not, um gravitate to something else which yeah. is maybe far from what your intentions initially were mm -hmm. so yeah just finding that and yeah i personally that. feel like my faith actually grew because I came to, it grew stronger because I came to uni 
like I've met so many people who've mm. encouraged me and build me up and be like, do you know Same. what, this is happening, you can actually... So then again, it depends on your friends and who you're surrounded with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, just to say as well, just to, <laughs> just to highlight on the having fun part. Yeah. That's so key. Like, oh, I don't want to talk so no, much, no, but no, um, like yesterday, we was at Freshers Fair and we was doing like, a, um, we had an, a society that was doing C pass. Yeah. Um, Christian but, Performing Arts Society. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, yeah. And we was doing choir, was, I can't even talk. We mm. was singing as a part of a choir and I felt like it could have gone two ways. It could have gone two ways. It could have been like, Dry, but we were supposed to do it to be there, but I felt like yes, it, the way it went was we was having fun, like we was mm -hmm. singing about God, but we was having fun. So the emphasis is to have fun, and it makes everything so much more He's, worthwhile. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, this was like just a short video to say that being a Christian at uni is hard, challenging. There are going to be a lot of stuff that comes your way, yeah. but it's all about knowing yourself staying grounded to your beliefs and who you are surrounding yourself with the right people yeah and at the end of it it'll be it'll actually be a reward even though like you said there's challenges thank you guys so much for watching thank you um thanks for having me you're welcome. again you're gonna be on my channel or almost all the time anyway um i hope you guys like this video leave a comment if there's any videos that you want us to do or cover in relation to anything just comment and we shall subscribe to Tracy AJ. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye. 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 Bye.